Rose, psychic, investigators. I'm Rose, psychic, investigators. 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 Hello, everybody, welcome. Rose the Psych Investigator. Hello, everybody, welcome. Hi, guys. Oh, how are you doing, huh? huh? So, hello. Okay, oh my God, my hair, oh my God, my bald little thing, oh my God. My hair is growing, but it's slow. Okay, anyway. So, guys, hi. Hi, hello, hello. And uh, so, guys, let me get to this, okay? I mean, let's get to it, okay? I know it, there's a lot going on. And I don't, it, this time, it's going to be shorter, or just so you know, okay? It's going to be shorter than before because, you know, it started late. And it, it's probably going to be like 40 minutes or 50 minutes long, okay? Hi, everybody. So, so I'm just quickly going to uh, okay. It's funny. I, I like singing these like little silly songs. Okay, the beginning. Uh, so, so let's do it. Okay, Cynthia, love and light, Jan, B, D, Anna, Delana, and Tennessee brings art transformation. Miss Diva, to you, Jeffy, Molnar, Indivisible San Francisco, to Lon is like Cynthia, Allen, Howie, W, Lisa, Kelly, Ruth, Richards, Janet, Moran, Janet, Moran. That's it. Everybody's here, okay? So, guys, okay, so let's get... The, oh, my God, it's really bothering me, this hair thing. I'm sorry about it. Okay, cover. Okay, now I don't look at it. So, okay, so, guys, let's get real, okay? So, so as I said, you know, I have a bit of a throat thing going, and uh, and I don't want to abuse it, okay? I have here. Well, let me start. One of you, I think it might have been Diane, who who's the egg who said the echinacea with golden seal propolis and it really is very good. I still have it at last year. She was well, excuse me. <laughs> Ugh, but it's good, it works. So anyway, started. So guys, okay, so so I don't you know it's interesting today. It's a really weird first okay, there's many topics, okay, but I just want to get to the the main things, which is that I forgot what time it was. Okay, it was sort of like in the like around after lunch or something, or I don't remember. Two, it's like one o'clock ish, and then there was the one of you, a couple of like one of you was saying. Well, I saw something on Twitter, and then one of you sent me you met like saw said something on Twitter, and I went to look at it, and it was something like a, several things were connected. Eight pences. This was it, what you would what, what they were saying. Okay, the pences plane had come back from right midair had when ordered to come back to the white house part one part two the russians were supposed to meet with some sort of defense thing and then i forgot the third one there was like a third thing okay so but but as it turned out when i looked into it i saw that it was the far right people that were pushing it it was all these propaganda channels okay so i was like oh i have to you have guys when you listen when you look at news especially on twitter it you you obviously can't just read, read it you have to you have to search it and see who is talking about it because when it's far right, they are always very well coordinated. And it was always, it was like free. There was these very strange channels. They're like free beacon in classic far right disinformation. So, so, so anyway, so this is why I was like, Oh, okay. When I saw that that's what it was, I didn't give much thought to it because I felt like it's fake. Okay. Whenever the right, like let's just even call it just the far right online stuff. Okay. They all say the same things. You have to give it, you know, 
I initially when I heard it, I was like, oh, I really want to do it. I was really hoping that it was what I had seen. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's happening. But then when I saw who was retweeting it, I, who was pushing this the story, it was not no not trustworthy channels. So I kind of didn't think it was as important. Okay. <coughs> okay, so let's get to it. So what I think I'm gonna do, guys. Instead of I just ask about each thing separately, okay? I think they could be connected, but I don't know that they are. I really don't. So the other thing that happened was this the Russian, this Russian submarine. There was this accident with these um, sailors, okay, and they all died of some, supposedly of smoke inhalation. Now this is a Russian nuclear nuclear submarine, okay, somewhere up there in the Arctic. I don't know somewhere. I don't know where. So, and then guys, this is totally unrelated, okay? That nobody said this, but there was a, a problem with Cloudflare. <laughs> Cloudflare, it's a complicated, just it's kind of like a hosting website for like a lot of a lot of uh, websites keep their files like and on Cloudflare, and there was this disruption, and supposedly 10% of the internet was down. The thing about Cloudflare, for some reason, guys, you know, I there's just the, all these this down like under the sea cables. I feel like it was some, for some reason, I kind of feel like it could be connected, okay? That there was, I wonder if it's some sort of explosion. You know how I was telling you guys, the, the sea, there's an importance, some, for some reason, this whole conflict that I saw with Rush, Russia and all these attacks, it has something to do with the sea, for sure, okay? And so, so um, I just can't help but think it has something to do with the sea. So, so to me, this is not, you know, this is a little unusual. And just before I, you know, and I think guys, you forgot, me have forgotten this, but maybe a couple weeks ago or even a month, I don't remember when, it was when, after I had already started doing the those uh, timestamps, I have to search on my website, but I already looked into the July 4th and I saw that it was gonna be rainy. I remember that it was gonna be like a lot of thunderstorms. And, it's, and thus far it looks like it could be, <laughs> You know the weather um so so that's what i saw and it would be there was this and then i already saw this other thing i had seen this other thing too that could be like far right groups could try to like create some they, like some sort of like a truck caught with army ammunition you know stuff like that they're trying to create like a like a situation okay you know what i mean like a fake situation okay so so that's the stories okay so it's it, it it's loosely connected but not so then let's find out what's gonna happen what's you know what's up and and the other thing guys how is i mean we know how the military is feeling about it like the, he wants the military to be there and supposedly oh this is why guys who was it somebody said that, that linda g had seen something about the military today with pence i don't know who knows okay so and then the, the other was this news that there was a trump was heard in fights at the white house yelling at people but he's, he always yells at people but it must have been so bad think about it right so that people heard it. Okay, so 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 okay, guys. Where do we start? Do start with pens. Maybe start with pens. Okay. I just when I saw that, I was like, God, I hope. I so badly hoped that it was. Um, I badly, badly hoped, guys, that it was like, oh, military has uh, information. Information. It's military, we need to have conversations. Yeah, we, we, do, we do have conversations. We need conversations. Okay. So, okay. So, so okay, obviously, right? Enraged today, yeah, okay. Interesting, okay, so, but he always, guys, he's not getting what he wants, obviously, right? So anyway, so let me just close, uh, close my eyes here. Oh, and by the way, guys, you know, yesterday was probably one of the, the really terrible, you know, not terrible, it was kind of hard. You know, the reading yesterday was in very intense. It was a very, you know, in-depth kind of thing, look into like very dark issues. And just so you know, the, the, the co-working space in the other location, they happened to have sage. So they were saging the place right as I was finishing. So, so I'm clean. I'm clean, but it was intense, okay? So, and guys, you know, I know this, this is the thing. If you ever comment, I, it's kind of, it affects me a little bit, comments after, right after the reading. Right after the reading, I kind of have to, like, not think about anything. So I don't, like, don't respond very well if you send me requests, right? Oh, well, can you look into this? No, I'm, like, I'm still decompressing, okay? So 
I respond better the next day. The day right after the reading, I'm kind of like not. I'm not up for conversations. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so my dad's birthday should be over. Really, come to my head as I breathe in. If you want to light, breathe out. I breathe light over it. Is that create a circle of light? I step into. I feel partly protected. I feel totally connected to the universe, energy, and God. I invite everybody. You know, we're all connected. We're all together. And uh, I ask that only the highest sources provide information of only from the highest sources. The creator goes on the go. So, so let's get started. Okay. So, okay. So what was happening today, huh? So let's get started. There's a lot of events today that feel like they were loosely connected in some way. And part of it, I was I was a little confused because I saw there's far right people trying to manipulate something. But um, but part of it, a lot of events were true. It's just that there was no real connection. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. First question: Why did Mike Pence return? Like he was midair. His his airplane was was sent back. Why? What happened? So guys, the first image I got, obviously, not obviously, but first thing is Trump angry. He's yelling. He's always yelling, okay? He's always yelling. But um, but um, but the thing is, guys, then I see the people, I see the military people there. I do. I see people with uniforms, the high level. And I feel like they went to meet with him about this, you know, he, okay, oh my God, guys, it's so sick. He wanted to tell them what to do. Like this is where okay no I'm, can I tell you seriously it's it's like um it's like a dress re, it's like a rehearsal dinner for for not a, not a it's like a dress it reminds me of weddings when before the wedding where like the bride is gonna be and like you know that's the thing it's like he thinks it's like some sort of it is like a, a like a like a TV like seriously he's like well this is where I'm gonna be here you can sit right there um and then you sit there okay so you can like have a look like this like tough you know you just look really nice can you just look tougher like tougher you know tougher <laughs> like he i'm not kidding this is what it looks like to me he was like he was literally telling them what to not just what to do but how to look how to look he's thinking of like he's a television person okay he's like this is like how you're gonna stand to the left why don't you stand next to him jared's gonna be here jared's gonna be here so you can like sit a little closer yeah, like I'm gonna be there, like tough, you know. Oh my god! And they're just like looking at it, like what the hell? And I, guys, and this is the thing I have to say. Um, I have to say, you know what? Then it. Okay, how do I say this? Um, not to say, you know, how do I? Okay, I just this is a little bit strange to me. So they, that's kind of like what they call them there for, but that's not what they want to talk about. They want to tell Trump both of, of the fact they I feel like they want to stop some elements of the parade that he wanted a and B they wanted to talk about the attack the thing that happened in Russia they want to talk about it the military the big military people so they're like okay this is not what we're here for we're here to tell you about this and and guys I feel like this is the thing about Mike Pence okay part of it i see that when he when mike pence was called back trump was angry and he wanted him back but part of me thinks that there's something to do with there is something to do with like um that is some sort of national security issue okay i i okay i'm just gonna say guys i swear to god i swear to god i do think the military is thinking of the 25th amendment okay and I don't know. I mean, it's almost like 
he wanted Pence to to know what he was going to do there. But Pence always does the job. He never, you know, he never takes in defense of Pence. Like he never, you know, he never takes. He's a good. He's a good man in, for Trump in that way. He doesn't. He's not a. He doesn't do crazy things. Okay. Now, but the thing is that there is some sort of concern about national security here from them, and they want to be able to. Um. You know, guys. It, you know. You know. This is what I tell you is weird to me to say this because. I have seen this before, before I seen this happening before, before there was a threat that he was going to leave. Right. It seemed far away, but now that I'm seeing, I kind of feel like I'm, I don't, I can see, I'm kind of almost hesitant to say it, but I feel like it's the, okay, guys, I'm, I'm censoring myself here, but uh, what, what, what is, what is like get, telling me is like, it's the beginning of the end and it's the beginning of the confrontation between Trump and the military. Oh, interesting, no? It's very interesting. I find it very interesting. So, <coughs> but I don't, guys, you know, I almost, because you know what I mean? I saw it in such detail, but now it's like, it's bizarre. This is why I'm like, you know what? It's bizarre. It's bizarre that I'm like, uh, it's like there they are talking about Russia. Okay. But guys, no, 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 no. But what I mean, I have to tell you this. Um, How do I say this, guys? Um. It's the sense that it, if it doesn't happen now, it happens soon. Oh, oh, oh my God. You know, guys, it's, I have to turn off my other head, my irrational head, okay? <laughs> I have to turn on my other head, okay? Yeah. Uh, I have to turn on the, like, I have to turn off my rational, like, my uh, my awake, waking up mind. I have to just be the, the psychic mind or whatever, right? Because when I say this, I'm like, what the hell? Really? No way. That's crazy. So... So what I'm sensing here is that they want to talk about what happened with the Russian thing. To them, it's a very big deal because guys remember, do you remember this thing? I, you know, and I'm not saying I, you know, it could be a pet. Like I was telling you guys, it's a pattern of some things. It's not as if the, you know, remember the whole thing, for example, with Iran, with Iran, there was one thing where they created this fake bullshit, right? That's one thing. This thing with the Russia thing is very different because it's it's a moment. Russia, you know, what, basically it was like cut, that death by a thousand cuts. With just with the American military, it was always teasing. It was always going over the line constantly, constantly. So that we kind of like, the, the goal was to make us numb, to numb. Oh, we just get numb to whatever they do so that we don't sense the threat. We get used to the threat and we deal, you know, very slowly, right? That's their technique. I have to say... I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you what I, I haven't even asked, looked into what happened with the Russian submarine. I think some motherfuckers went over the line, but just went over the line, mm -hmm. which went over the line and, uh, and the thing exploded. I don't know guys. Cause you know, there's some, some, there was a comment on, on Twitter. I'd have to look into, I don't know anything about these cables. And I heard, heard about these cables under the sea and it connects the internet. There's like a lot of these very big deal things. Okay. Like this. So, I have a sense, guys, to be very honest, that they wanted to attack the inner, like they really wanted to go something very big. Remember, oh, guys, remember the thing I was telling you that they wanted to attack either us or the world or whatever, right? And it didn't work, bitches. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah. You're very clever, huh? Interesting, no? Very nice. <laughs> so, my sense, you guys, okay, I'll tell you this is this, this thing because I lately, you know, all I all I listen to are my my audiobooks are all about they are all about um military history and the you know, the Middle East and Iran and 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 the history of Hezbollah and whatever. Like it's very complicated. Like I don't know anything about I don't know anything about the military, but I'm learning. And some of one of the things that happens is like when people there's all this whole thing with landmines, okay? Like if, if, if there is something safe, like for example, let's say Hezbollah, Hezbollah, right? They are very smart. They are, they are like the underdogs, right? So they're very, very smart with their, their battle techniques or whatever you call it. So, so obviously if there's a, like a place that's important to them, it's all full of mines everywhere. Okay. So it's not like you're going to be like, Hey, there's a, there's a door. There's a, like a weird thing over there. Let's go look at it. Oh, there's landmines everywhere. And Israel puts a lot of them and, and it's a horrible thing. People die from these things. The same thing I'm getting happens in the sea. 
So if the U.S., what I'm saying is the U.S. put a cable there, and somebody's gonna be like, "Bitches, I see a cable. Let's go. Let, let's go there. Let's go cut it out." Like I, you know, now that I have this knowledge, oh, like, like what are the? I mean, I'm seriously like, like I, I have a hard now that I understand military. I understand. I read the one book. I read one book. No, I'm like Ivanka. Ivanka does not read the book. I read one book. I know it. I know it. So I'm just kidding. So you know what I'm saying? So if this is something valuable, like it's something that you know somebody, you know what I'm saying? I am sure there's some sort of mind. There is something that you know. Why don't you think if it's something that is like so important to national security or even the security of the world, it has to be protected? Don't you think it has? To, especially if it's near Russia, near Russia. Right? Oh, it's near Russia. Oh, I'm going to walk around near Russia. It's very safe. <laughs> very safe. Yeah, no. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, bitches, there was some sort of mine under, like, I, and I don't even know, guys. I don't know. I don't know if there are my, you know, I don't know how these things are built. I don't know how, you know, if there are, there, I don't even know that if sea mines exist. I don't know. But what I wanted to say, guys, do you remember the, the thing about the ship that I saw? The first thing I saw about the ship was in the, I guys, you know what? I see, I think it already happened. Do you remember the thing about the Pacific, whatever it was, you know, the thing it was like near, it already happened. Remember the story of Philippines? Remember the story? It already happened. But what I saw in that stance was the same thing. It was like the Russian, let's go attack them. We're going to attack them. We're going to attack them. Yeah, we're going to attack them. Oh, yeah, so they go, they do that, and then the Americans are like have these really weird radars, and they're like zoom, and like you know, oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, what happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so it's like you know what I mean. So, so I just feel like, guys, seriously, I swear to God, they thought, it's kind of how they are, they're like, they, all these, they're, they're bullshitters, okay, they're like the bullies in high school, they're like, they think that if they talk, because they got, they got off so easy, you know, they, they got, they, when people start winning, they start losing the sense of reality, you know, especially those people, they lie constantly, they're like, oh, we're going to do better, we know information, we know it, we're going to do much better, we have information, we know it, so, so so he starts to like do these things they're gonna like, poke they're gonna are you gonna poke bits you're gonna poke you're gonna poke bits are you gonna poke <laughs> yeah you're gonna go ahead go ahead go ahead so guys now i get it good <laughs> get it yeah wait <laughs> so guys okay okay now okay okay it's okay guys let me focus don't talk about what the people said right now i'm still trying to to get information Please be, be, you know, please be okay. I know I love Linda Gia's, you know, but but now I need to say what I say, not what I need. Please don't tell me what somebody else said while I'm trying to get the information out, okay? Okay. Don't, no problem, you know, just so, just so I don't get, like, sidetracked. I don't want to, you know, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to see comments. So I don't, so I make sure, because my concern, you know, what gets distracting is that I have a lot to say. And then if I see, then is you know what I mean? Gets, ooh, like off the road. Okay, so I'm going back here. Um, what I see here, guys, is, okay, several things. So then, that's what I feel happens. And then now I'm going back to what I think I read on the news about this ship. I'm sorry, the submarine. That they were saying that it happened yesterday, but they are only making it public today. Okay? So, so you think about it. Why would they wait? And why would they make it? Why would they even make it public? Think about it. Because the American peoples know it, what happened, they know it. So you see what I'm saying? So they were scrambling to find out information. So they waited. Okay, and I, and guys, you know what? How do they know? Okay, the other thing is, the other thing. Okay, let's get real. They said that the sailors died of smoke inhalation. How do you know that? I watch a lot of crime shows. I watch many crime shows. I watch crime shows. I know it takes more than 20, you know, they always say, the detectives, they say, Carlos, you watch show? Life is not like this. Exam will take more than 24 hours. Exam take time. It does, it take time. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but really, it does take time. So how do you know that they died of smoke inhalation? Would you, are you able to pull the whole submarine thing? 
Were you able to pull the submarine in like what, 12 hours and like bring to a place where there could be tests that you could for sure know that that's what happened? No, no bits. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? So the whole story is fake. I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. This is my sense, guys. Now I need to ask other questions, but that's it. That's what I think happened. I think that they were the went around poking. They wanted to go in the sea to attack the cables. And there was some sort of mine. There was like mm -hmm, either radar or a mine, something. Okay, there was already in place. It's almost, guys, and I'm getting the sense here. Oh my God, this is what I'm getting. I'm having here, I'm having here. It's like booby trap, but for the sea. So it's some sort of like radar that's located right there that triggers. Like if it, there's something they pick, that the radar picks up on it. Connected to the cable itself. It's almost like there's like a thing, you know, glued to the cable and kind of like very down there with it. And it beeps, you know, if it, if there's something around there, they could see. And it automatic, guys, it's telling me here that the, the trigger is automatic. It's not even like the U.S. has to press a button. It goes, it attacks, it attacks. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 So, so that's my feeling. And then this is the thing, guys. This is why they're scrambling. And now, you know, and after this, guys, can I tell you? Now I understand why I saw the thing about the far right connecting these things. Because they wanted to control the narrative since they know what something is happening. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, how they always push, whenever these things that come, they come from these accounts that are basically always pushing Russian propaganda. Why? Right? Why would they be used? Because they know something worse is going to come. And that is information. I see it happening. Yeah. 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 So, oh my God, guys, does it make sense? Okay. Wow. Now I said that. Now feel free to comment again. I just wanted to like get it out. Okay. Now. There's a mod that now we kind of can like zoom in. Let's zoom in. Find out other other information. Wow, it makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. So, okay. Now, now because, you know, guys, I don't, I think the whole thing with Trump, coincidentally, for some bizarre reason, bizarre, the bizarre call of fate, it was already, it was already scheduled. Can you believe it? So, so, but the military leaders have said, let's not schedule something else. Let's use it to tell him, tell him information. <laughs> we need information for it. Yeah. So, so I think the coming back of Mike Pence is connected to this because guys, oh my God, you know what I'm getting here? I'm telling you guys, they are saying something like, they're saying this, they're saying this is a code red situation. Remember that? Oh guys, remember, I've been seeing the thing about code red for a while. I've been seeing the thing about code. the whole thing with the code red, right? It's like they're saying, telling him, I'm sorry, president, but this is a code red situation. That means the entire cabinet. There is something I told you guys before, right? Where there's some people in the government. I think it's Nancy Pelosi. Several people there have to be notified when code red happens, regardless of what the events that triggered it was. So, so I feel like that's what happened here. Okay. They told her, they told people that this is like, look, Pants has got to be down because it's the thing. Remember 9 11? Remember 9 11? Who like, where's the president? You know, they have to like, remember the president had, was, like, had to be flying. Nobody should know where he was. And so, like, remember the story? So, so, so they have these laws or whatever. No, not even laws. Like, we don't even know. But obviously, they'll be like, they'll be like, hey, uh, this is where you have to be. Like, no, nobody's going to be like, well, if, if there's code red, this is the address of the president. No, right? Nobody's going to tell. Nobody's going to know. Nobody should know. It makes perfect sense. So, so that is part of why they got him back. Because they're like, this attack is a cold red situation. Yeah. Guys, then can I tell you? Can I tell you? Trump was like, I spoke to President. I didn't tell you this. But I had a conversation with President Putin. That's not what he told me. That is not what he told me. Okay? He didn't tell me that. He would have told me if something happened. They would have, he would have told me. Okay? Okay, not only was he, like I was telling you guys, he always denies. He always denies whenever Russia comes up in any situation. No, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, nothing happens. So, 
so you see what I'm saying? So it's like nothing happened. And then the but then the guy, the military guys are like, no, bitch, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. They didn't tell him like that, but like, it's not about what you think, bitch. It's about what's happening. They're telling him. They're kind of raising their voice. It's not about what you think. It's about what's happening, bitch. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, wake the fuck up. Like, I'm not going to let people, the guys that, can I tell you? I see a guy from the Navy. It's not Dunford because in Dunford, guys, Dunford is the chief of the, the Joint Chiefs, but there's another Navy guy, right? Who's the head of the Navy, right? I think there's a guy who's the head of the Navy, right? And then there's the, the but it's not Dunford. The, the Navy guy's like, I'm not going to let this happen. I am not going to let my men die because you were not, you were listening to Putin or whatever. Like he doesn't say, like, doesn't say Putin's name, but he's like, bitch, I want to do my job. <laughs> okay. Because if you don't like about, I don't care about the American people, don't care about the, the troops. I do. I do. Yeah. You want to fight, bitch? Like, think, okay, guys, I'm sorry. Trash face fuck, whatever. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that man is sickening thug. Do you think any, he would, nobody, like, I'm sorry, anybody would win. If you fight the motherfucker, you're going to win. Everybody's going to win. Like, uh, seriously, I'm going to go let, hit the hit him. Do you think he's going to, he just kind of like, no. A street fight with that guy, you win. Think about it. He's just he's pathetic. Bah! Shut up, bitch. Bah! Huh. Oh my god. Can you imagine? I mean, so the country is like he's like he's really like the he's the drunken guy in the wheel. He wants to kill. He's like no. Bah! Shut your mouth. Like, oh my god. Like, who does that? Like, seriously, he's so sick. Like, so then, guys, this is it, and they're saying no, bitch. We were, and they're saying to him, this is kind of interesting. This was already in place. We don't need to have your info. And he's like, why wasn't I alerted? Why wasn't, oh my God, that's right. John Richardson, that's right. Because doesn't he have, I see this guy with black hair. Black hair, kind of like, like big chunk of hair he has. He's like, bah. No, he didn't. I would love, guys. I would like, I don't know. I would like, that. We should imagine a GoFundMe for somebody who hit Trump on his face. Can you, bah, hit him. 100,000, can you make, Five million dollars in a day. I would pay a person, like seriously, like like somebody who, like I don't know. I would give, like I don't know. I would pay, like I don't know. I would give something to the guy at least. Think about it, like somebody who has courage. You know what I mean? So he's like, bitch, we're gonna. First of all, it's already done. First of all, it's already done. It's like, yeah, we're already. You know, this is the thing, guys. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, no, seriously, like if you. <sighs> Oh my god, I can't. So I'm just like, uh, come down, come down, come down, come down. So, so anyway, so as I'll think, I'll have you one second. If as I'll think, guys, hey, they're saying, first of all, it already happened, bitch. Yeah, happened. <laughs> Go tell your friend, Putin. Guys, can I tell you? Can I tell you? Can I tell you interesting? So he, I think he pulls out receipts. He's like, bitch. We saw that you have conversations with the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Here's the conversations you had on that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. You know, we know that. We know that. <laughs> so they tell him, I'll have what it sits, bitch. I'm going postal. No. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, so guys, uh so so anyway, guys, no, feel free, you know, do, do as you wish, do as you wish. So so oh my god, so so oh my god, guys. Anyway, so as I was saying, as I was saying, um this is it, they already acted. And they're telling him it's a code red situation. You can imagine, like it's a code red situation, bitch. So he's back. Okay, now guys, we we'll have we we'll have like 15 minutes, the most 10 minutes or so. Now let's let's focus here. Let's focus on information. What what do you need to know? What is very important here that we need to know? Because I don't have you know today, tomorrow I could do it again. Not on the fourth, of course. But do we need information before that we should know that we must know? Guys, I'm gonna. This is like okay. This is an extreme question. Okay, this is an extreme question. So, is Trump gonna remove be removed this weekend? Okay, does this mean that Trump is being removed soon? Okay, I'm just gonna ask. Let's see what what he says. 
Okay, is this a situation that, what is this? Okay. Guys, it's saying that over time, like over time, over this weekend, and even while this parade supp is supposed to be going on, which I think it may even be can I think I even said it, guys, it could be canceled because of the rain. There's like a headquarters of the military, whatever you call it. I don't know. It was the Pentagon. I'm going to, I don't wear it. But guys, they're not even in the Pentagon. They're in some other place, like a bunker. Some other secret. It's okay, huh? So they're saying they're monitoring this, this escalation. Like it's not even escalation with the Russians. The Russians attacked and they were, bitches were caught. Bitches were caught. They were trying to attack us. The submarine got blown up. The submarine got blown up. So, so even anyway, so, so they were, they were like this whole, there's a huge thing of brouhaha going on and the military is defending country, defending country. And Trump is the same. This is guys, can I tell you, this is what is so disturbing to see it. I have to tell you, this is very strange. The military commanders, like, you know, the very, these are people guys. These are people who are very, very high level military have seen wars, right? They are, they are like their jaw, their jaws drop because they see how Trump is incapable of calling Putin in front of them. He is incapable of making any demands. Like they can't, they're like, bitch. They're, they're like, they just kind of like their mouth. They've never seen anything like this. Never, you know, these people have like, they were like very, you know, not say they're very that old, but they're, you know, they're pretty old. They've seen a lot of presidents. They've seen a lot of presidents and they've seen at least three or four presidents, <laughs> Democrat and Republicans. And uh, and they're like, this guy, he's incapable of like, of acting like a man from them. It's like, he can't act like a man. He doesn't act like a man. I mean, just tell the guy, it's not gonna work. They just can't, and they, oh my God, can I tell you? Can I tell you, oh my God. I think is the, is, oh my God, the Richardson guy, he, he gets angry in his hair, like it's very together, but he's very like, he's like, he grabs the phone from him, Putin. It's like, <laughs> seriously. He's like, they try to grab the phone for him because he doesn't do anything. He doesn't say anything. He can't say it. He can't say he's guys. This is the first time he's observed talking to Putin in in an in an let's say neutral environment. He's incapable of asking Putin about anything like that. He is like they're just like they can't believe it. They're just because he's very like meek. He's like, hello, this is President Trump. Like he's calling, like, and they're just like, it's a goddamn war. Like, you know, think about it. It's like a war situation. What the hell, bitch? Like, you know what I mean? Like, people like for them, guys, for them, you know, they're trained, they have experience. To see this is like if they're thinking to themselves, they're like, this is way worse than we thought. This is really a no, no, my God. So, so this is it, guys. He, they observe how he is, it's not even, it's beyond incompetent. It's not, incompetent is not the word, he's a coward. He is a traitor's coward. He's not just like, cause you know, guys think about like all this, when I read all these stories about these real life spies who were caught. Okay. But the good, the reason why they were, they were not caught before because they were very good. They were able to act like they were on one side when they were another, they were very like dissimulated. Okay. They were very good. They were trained with those things, but Trump isn't. He is incapable of acting like he. It's like he talks in front of the cameras, right? But in real life, he does not act like he talk. You know, in front of the camera. Here, notice this, guys. The cameras only catch him talking. It's all about his mouth. He. They don't catch him actually working. You know what I mean? So, so when it's time to do the job, the job, the work, he doesn't do it. He doesn't, he's, has no, he's there, he freezes, he freezes, he doesn't, oh, hello, hello, Putin, hi, don't be mad at me, don't be mad at me, please, and they're like, what the hell, they're like, damn, so guys, I swear to God, I think it's going to be the situation, this escalation, they have to be with the president, that's even the laws or the constitution, I don't know what it is, it's, it's the code red situation, like how it happens, the military has to be telling the president, but the president is a coward, and Mike Pence, and guys, I was telling you, the, the intelligence agencies have information about him, right, he has to be there, but they know, they know, guys, and Chris Ray. Chris Ray's there, like all these people of all the law enforcement of the country, they are there because it's the code red. Okay, I think it is. It doesn't mean that it's going to be a war. It just means that this is averting, averting. Okay.
Okay, so De okay, Debbie, okay guys, you know what? I, I okay, let's just we retract here. I've said a hundred million times that Pence is not gonna be the president, okay? So so that's we start from there. I've said many times that like Pence is compromised. So so that's where we're starting from. So like I said, okay, so this is where everything is coming from. I don't think they're that stupid. I've said before, guys, you know, that I, I said before, okay, that they, they go, they try to go to Turtle. Turtle says no. And they know that Pence is compromised. So I'll be very, okay, uh, okay, the, do the military, the, the, in, the agencies know that, the best, yes, they know that he's compromised, very compromised. They even have more information about him than they do about Trump, okay? And the reason why they were not acting on him because it's too dangerous, because Trump is right there, you know what I'm saying? So they want to catch the big fish. So if, you know what I'm saying? So, how, okay, so this is guys and this is it don't put don't put the thing like i didn't say there was 25th amendment i'm saying that he's a coward so it's a little bit different okay they may use part of the 25th amendment but it's not the same as like what is going on okay so you know it's okay i'm just have to like because you know and as you know i'm very sensitive to some of the things like i'm like don't ever say you know i'm when people say pants i'm like no no no, no don't worry pants is never gonna be so i have to is i'm passionate i am passionate about it i'm passionate you know what i am like so Oh my God. Okay. So, okay. So, so now let's go back here. So knowing that these people are compromised, how do they go about getting it done? How do they go about getting it? Guys. And I see that they're in this room. It's so interesting. The image, they are, the military is in this room and they have these, like, I don't know if it's a skiff, but they're on the phone. They're calling these people and it's raining really hard. They look out in the window they're not totally, you know, on, it's not a bunker or, or whatever. Like, whatever, this is the first meeting they're having with Trump right now. I think it's happening now. Or it's going to happen. I don't know. There's a meeting <coughs> where they have, and it's raining a lot, raining really hard. And they're the person who's making the call is, I think, is a guy with the army now. Army, the little glasses now. Army, army thing. So they're calling these people. They're like, damn it. How are we going to have to move fast? He's looking at the rain thinking, this rain is not going to help. It would be if there was a rain, they would have here faster. It would be more discreet. They're thinking to themselves. Okay. So, so it's just this developing story. Okay. That they're kind of finally decide to move and be aggressive with Trump and they realize how bad the situation is. So, so it's like this sense of like how they're, this is the thing. Okay, guys. Oh my God, guys. It's seven. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have to say, this is one of the last things I didn't have to go. It's very important. I have to say. So, there was a moment, guys, several times, a couple of times this happened. This came up before and it doesn't come very often, okay? Um, so, so this is what happens. I think I said something like, you know, in the reading there was about what happens, how does it, how does it get written in history? It said something like the seven, there's the seven days before he leaves. There's something about seven days, seven days or something like that. Okay. So I have a sense that is like this, they're dealing with like, how, how do they respond? Right. How do they respond to the, the thing about the Russians and how is there, they're going to monitor all of this and how do they, you know, because like I said, the Russians were, you know, too big for their breaches. They got burned because they, you know, they got too close to the fire. And so, and so this is a situation where they have to monitor. It's very, you know, it's kind of, I don't, like I said, don't worry about things really happening. It's just like, it was like, you know, the, the Russians weren't aware there were booby traps around the whatever cables. Over, I think, I think that's what it was anyway. So, but then they said there's like seven days. Remember I was telling you, go back to seven days. So there's like a, a series of days when these things happen before he leaves. Okay. So even though I said before, there's like, yeah, he's, you know, he doesn't, the, the main thing is that he's removed because he refuses to act. But this, 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 nego remember the hope you guys asked me, like, what about the negotiation in my mind before I thought, oh, negotiation is like, they show up one day, like, Hey, here's the thing. Bye. No, it goes on for about a week. Okay. My sense is like, it just goes on. Like they try and it has everything to do with the responding to them. It's, it's in the moment guys, when the country is in an under attack or like having to fight for the stability. Okay. Protecting its assets in a way, or like the grid and all the, Oh guys, this is what I'm getting. This cables have to do with the grid. There is something, I don't know what these cables do, but there is something, a big deal about, there's something about electricity. I don't know what it is. It's very strange here. It's something also about the grid. Anyway, 
So, you know what I'm saying? And the process of this, they realize that Trump is, a com they don't just think about it, they don't just have evidence, but they see it in action. They see in an action as like, they're like, wait, let, let us take, they try to like, let's say for example, I like if you see the stories of like, if an airplane is under turbulence, the, the pilot's gonna try to ask for help, right? He's not gonna be, no, don't worry about it, I'll take care of it. I'm drunk, but don't worry. No, they try to like, okay, let's now, Try to deal with the situation, okay? Okay, I get it. You don't have experience, whatever. Let's try. It. But as they notice, they, he tries to stop. He doesn't want his guys. They know he's afraid. They're observing how afraid he is of attacking Putin. They're observing that he cares about his personal well-being or the you know his money. He care, he tells them like, what about my money? What about my money? If he does that, then no, 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 no. Okay, what about my money? What happens? Oh my God. And they're like aghast because they're like, he doesn't care. Like, he's like thinking about his money. Are you kidding me? Like, they just like couldn't believe it. That he not only he's just worried about himself and his money or whatever. So, so then guys, this is it. Okay. I feel like, oh my God. I just, oh my God. I just, oh my God. I just like, I, guys, I pray for, I always like, pray for the military peoples, pray for the military peoples, because really, like, I pray for them, you know, who knew that I would be like, you know, patron, Rosie is patron saint of military peoples, like, I, like, seriously, these people, guys, they go through so much, like, seriously, they hold the country, I'm sorry, like, that's, you, you, I'm sorry, like, you know how I am, like, I get so angry when people do bad things to the military, it's so upsetting to me, I'm sorry, that is wrong to do what they do to the, the lack of respect i'm just like it makes me furious i'm so angry so this is the guys you know i think it's this process of like negotiation or something like that okay yeah so i don't know guys i have to like oh my god i don't know guys i don't know so oh no, oh no i don't know what it is now but it's some it's a big deal communication you know what i'm saying it's a big deal i don't know that they i think there was it was an exploration of these cables okay you know what I mean? Like it was some sort of an exploration of these cable situations. Okay. They wanted to like do something bad, very bad, but they were like, Oh, let's see what we can. And then they were caught. They were caught because they wanted to guys, you know what it is? Oh my God. I have, they're going to kick me out here. You know what it is? I'm getting, you know, okay. It was amazing. Okay. You know what? Oh my God. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So, 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 you know, the card mice, right? The card mice is about, is about the, people chew the, the rats chew on something and that's the, the same card for for hackers and in a way that's similar to what ha even though i don't have cards now that's kind of similar to what's happening here okay is that they were trying to enter these cables okay i think they were trying to enter these cables and i feel like they they just but the difference between the hackers and these people there is that the hacker thinks they were able to go in without people stopping them. But in the real world, they cannot go in like this. In the real world, people are like, bitches, get your ass out of there. Get your ass out of there. Like they can't. So they were caught. They were caught. You know what it is? And for, you know, it's in a sweet image. It's like a dog that's caught eating. You know, he's caught eating like the cookie, except that these people are like the rats eating the cookie. You know, they're like, oh, look, there's rats here. Uh -huh. So, you know what I'm saying? That's it. They were caught. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, Daniel's son is in the Marines. Oh my God, oh my God, prefer, I'm like gonna cry. Because you know, guys, they. I'm sorry, like it's so, I'm like crying. Because you know, they sacrifice so much your son, you know, it's like, and it's like, so, I'm sorry, so little respect, okay? So like, it really, it hurts me how much they give, okay, and why, it take for granted that they are willing to, you know, and if guys, you know, honestly, and even if they're Trumpers, even if they are Trumpers, I, it's like, they may not even be aware that they are being used. They're being trapped, like used like trash. Okay. Thrown out like trash. Okay. So I, you know, even if they are poor Trumpers, they're naive. Did they think that the Trump cares about them? He's, they're just a tool to them. Okay. So, you know, so anyway, guys, I have to go, huh? you know, but anyway, it's, it's good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So guys, okay. So, you know, let's hope I, I, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to have confirmation. Confirmations. I'm going to have more guys tomorrow. I have guys, you know, so crazy. I feel like 
I feel like it's always, you know, it's 45 minutes a long time, but we don't even, have, we're not even, there's so much to talk about. You know what I mean? There's so much to talk about. Oh my God. Okay. So two minutes, I have to go. I have to go in 20 seconds. So this is it, guys. So tomorrow we'll have more conversation. Okay. So. Okay. So yeah, guys. So yeah, I think it's going to be okay, but it's like, I'm happy to see that they're observing. They are observing the, the criminal in action. You know what I mean? They are observing. They're not just thinking. They see how he really is very bad. So, you know. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, have a good night. Okay, see you. So, tomorrow I'm going to have conversations also. We'll see how it goes. But I need more information. I need more information tomorrow. It's crazy. Okay, uh, can you imagine if he leaves in 10 days? Huh? Like, or something like that? Very soon, trash, trash show, trash show Rama is leaving. Yeah, trash show Rama is leaving. Oh my god. Okay. Good night, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye.